so much shit has just happened, okay? So much shit. Alright. What's going on, guys? It's your boy. I'm back. What the fuck is that glare there for? Why the fuck? Why are you... Ah, fucking... Hold on. Hold on. I gotta... Alright, hold on. Let's put that out. Cut this one. There we go. That's better. Alright. Okay. So let me tell you guys what just happened, okay? So... I'm gonna tell you guys everything that I know, okay? So much shit just went down, I'm gonna tell you guys everything right now, okay? So, I tell you guys that I'm gonna stream, right? I, I tweet I tweet out and I put it on Facebook, I'm gonna stream. I've already made the video. I, I normally don't put a video on YouTube when I say I'm gonna stream or anything, but I decided to do it this time because I felt like I was gonna stream for a pretty long time and I was gonna have a bunch of fun, I was gonna play some music. It's gonna be a good time, right? So, I made a video. It's, it's uploaded now, actually. It's uploaded. Uh, I didn't get a public it though. I made the video talking about I'm gonna go live here soon and whatever. So I go and get in the shower, right? I get out of the shower. I hear yelling in my living room, right? My living room is past that wall right there. You see that wall? It's just on the other side of that wall. So I hear yelling, right? I get dressed real quick, go in there, okay? Our friend Amber. My mom's friend Amber walks outside chasing some dude, another friend of ours, because he, the dude came up and was like, and was trying to, he was trying to get something that wasn't his or something, or didn't have permission to get, or some shit like that. And he came in and was doing all that shit, and Amber, my mom's friend, was getting all in his face and shit, and yelling at him and all this other shit. And my mom was like, alright, whatever, you do you, I'm gonna let you handle it, alright? Okay, so she was like, alright, whatever, fuck it, do, do your thing, bitch. Go ahead, do you. That's about the time when I come in there. I walk through the living room, put my dirty clothes in the basket, so I can be washed. Uh, and then my mom has me asked me to look for something, right? So I'm looking all around for it, I go in her room, which is at the very end of the house that way. I go and look for it, and... I'm looking out the window, watching Amber yell at this dude, right? Uh, they're yelling back and forth, and then, and then Amber comes inside. Excuse me, sorry. Amber comes inside, right? And starts yelling at my mom for like no fucking reason. Like I don't, I have, I honestly don't even know why the fuck she started yelling. She just came in this motherfucker and just started yelling for no reason. Like I guess she was mad at the dude, right? But I have no idea. She just started yelling. So I'm watching. I'm listening from my mom's room. I don't guess she knows that I'm in. My, uh, I don't guess Amber knows that I'm in there. I'm just listening, right? Trying to make sure everything's contained. No physical action goes down, right? So I'm just listening. They're arguing, right? My mom tells her to get out, okay? She gets out, right? She leaves. Well, first, one thing. Let me tell you guys this. Amber is a stubborn, ignorant person okay she's stubborn and ignorant she doesn't know when to shut the fuck up okay so we get her out she leaves right well she doesn't leave she just goes outside and uh, i guess she starts walking around or whatever but um i'm like okay that's cool that that resolved itself i didn't have to get involved there was no physical interaction or anything so i come in my room right now where i'm at now i come in here on my bed we finish stream okay now with that being said my mom and Amber were actually supposed to be cooking some food. Uh, they were going to grill some ribs. They were going to make uh, some vegetables. A bunch, bunch of really good shit, right? Till all this, all this shit went down, okay? And it's a lot of shit that needed to be done. So I was like, all right, you know, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to ask my mom if she needs any help before I start my stream. She's like, yeah. Uh, she wants me to peel some potatoes. So I go, peel some potatoes, and my granddad calls. I pick up the phone, I talk to my granddad about my new phone, which is probably going to be an LG K10. Yeah, it's going to be an LG K10 probably. Um, talk to him about that, talk to him about some, some other things uh, that's not important, it's irrelevant. Uh, and then our neighbor calls. Okay, I hang up with him, our neighbor calls, I pick up the phone, and she wants my mom to take her to the store and to go get her mail. Now. 
I've already I know I made a video about me and Nico walking to the mail before the mock to the walking to the mailbox before it's not far it's literally in walking distance like I can see it from where I live but so she wants to go ask my mom to take her to go get her mail and go get some drinks because she recently just had a surgery and she can't get around that well so she wants my mom to take her so she's like all right I will but I'm like well if you want I can walk down to the mailbox for you and get your mail for you because normally I wouldn't have done that but I know that she hadn't been feeling real well because she just had the surgery and shit so I'm like I'm gonna be an, I'm gonna be a good noodle right I'm gonna be I'm finna earn me a star right I'm finna earn me a star I'm like, you know what, if you need it, I'll, I'll walk down there and go get your mail for you, so you ain't got to make that extra stop, okay? So, I go across the yard to go get the key from her. I go and get the key. She gives me the key, tells me the box number. I'm like, alright. So, I come back. I'm like, uh, alright, I'll be back. I walk, and I text Nico to meet me. Uh, I text Nico and his cousin to meet me at the end of his road. I've been at the end of his road before. You guys should already know where it's at or whatever. And I tell him to meet me there. So I'm like, all right. I, they're like, okay, whatever. I start walking. They're already at the post office, right? I'm walking right before I walk. I was about to turn down their road because I didn't know that they were at the post office. And right before I started to turn down that road, a cop pulled out in front of me and pulled down the road too. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I start walking, I hear my name being called out in the distance. I turn, I look, Nico's, it's, it's Nico and his cousin across the street at the post office. I'm like, alright, whatever, they are there. Walk over there. Now, we get there, and I thought, I thought, I thought, okay, I thought, that our neighbor said that her box number was 226. Okay? Thought she said 226. Get there, it's not 226. So I, me and Nico and his cousin are sitting there trying a bunch of different fucking boxes and whatever, trying to figure out which fucking box it is. I tried everything that was closest to 226 that I could get, 226, 256, 266, everything. Didn't work. I'm like, alright, whatever. So we walk, we start, we start to walk back, right? And we're about to go get on Nico's road because I'm about to walk. I was just going to walk down there with him and we're going to walk around that area and whatever. So we call it the factory road because it's a factory that works. That's right there, right? There's like three different buildings. You walk down the road. There's this building here. There's a building over here. And there's a building in the way, way, way back. And to get to the building in the way, way back. No, there's two buildings in the way, way back. To get there, you have to get on this road. And you have to go and you just go down here. And it's just, it's just right here. It's just all in this area. It's kind of like a little cul-de-sac back there. But it's warehouses and shit. So we start walking back there, and technically we're not supposed to be there because it's not technically a public road. That specific turn right there is not necessarily a public road for uh, factory factory um, personnel only. So technically we're trespassing, right? So we walk back there, right? And as you're walking down that road, one of the one of the um, factories right here, one's right here. You walk down some more, and there's one over here, and there's one right here. Now, the one over here has a fat ass gravel like parking lot. Not even necessarily a parking lot, just a fat ass area with a bunch of gravel, right? So we're walking. We see the cop, right? Nico, well, as a matter of fact, Nico sees the cop, okay? Nico sees the cop. He's like, oh shit! I'm not finna I'm not finna fucking stay here, so we turn back around and start walking. I turn around, right? I see his lights come on. I didn't hear any sirens go off, but I heard his lights come on, right? So we cut out running. Okay. So we start we start running. We me and Nico gone, right? We leave his cousin in the dust. We just gone, right? And we go into one of his neighbor's yards because to get to his neighbor's yard you gotta go. You gotta you gotta go a little ways to get to his neighbor's yard, right? And it's all dark over there. There's no like like street lights or anything. So it's dark over there. So we're over there hiding. And then he comes and turns going up the hill to Nico's house and stops. And we're like, oh shit, does he see us? There's no way he could see us. And he's like back and he just says, forget it, backs up, goes, gets on the main road, and starts going that way. So I gotta get on the main road and come this way 
to get to my house, right? So I'm like, alright guys, I will see you later. I gotta go. I cut out running, right? Down his hill, get on the main road, and I start walking. I walk home. I get home, right? Uh, I get home. I come inside. And then we recently just got a bunch of groceries, right? To put in our freezer outside. And me and mom, me and my mom went outside and straightened up a, a bunch of the stuff that we had because we we recently just had it in bags sitting in there. But me and my mom went out there and straightened it, and organized it, made it look all pretty and shit. And my mom got information that Amber had may have touched it and moved a bunch of stuff and made it unclean, right? Made made it all messy and shit. So mama was finna get mad, right? So she was like, "Okay, I want you to go outside and look." And see if she fucks it up or anything. So I'm like, alright, whatever. I give her our neighbor's keys to hold on to. While I go out there. I don't know why the fuck I did it. I should've just kept the motherfucker zombie. But I'm a dumbass motherfucker. So, just fucking, just fuck me, right? But I go out there. Everything's fine. Nothing's been touched. Nothing's out of order or anything. It's all fine. Come in. I'm like, okay, I call our neighbor and I'm tell her I'm finna come over and give her her keys. Cause I can't, you can't, when you go to her house, she has a gate, right? You can't necessarily just walk in the gate either. Cause she got a really big dog. And I can't, it's not, I can't just knock on the gate or I can't just go up and knock on the door because I, I probably get my ass chewed for it. And I'll literally, but whatever. So I call her and tell her to come to the fence and meet me so I can give her her keys back. So after that, I'm sitting here looking for the keys. I asked my mom, what'd you do with the keys? She don't know what she did with the keys. I spend like 12 minutes looking for some fucking keys. Okay. Now, I'm about to give you guys another diagram, right? Or fucking what the fuck ever. Okay, so. Walk into our kitchen. Here's this wall right here, right? It's kind of, it's a, uh, it's called a, uh, a bar, right? It's a little bar. And it's got a wall, and then the bar, and it's got a little end piece of the bar right here. It's kind of like, it's like this here like this right and above it we have a key keychain or not a keychain a key what they called um fuck it's a place where you put a bunch of keys okay that's what the fuck it is okay and I'm sitting there looking for it and I'm walking around the wall and shit looking at all in all the places that she had went when I had gave it to her and whatever for like 12 minutes right I go outside I come back in I look I look up and I see the keys on the key thing. So I was pretty much, I was literally just walking around the keys for like 12 minutes. No reason for me to do none of that, okay? So I get the keys. She had already called back and was like, are you coming or what? And I'm like, yeah, see, the thing was, I kind of lost the keys. And I'm kind of looking for them, and yeah. But, um, so I grab her keys. I call her back, take them over there. I tell her that I couldn't get into the box, right? Turn out the number of the box wasn't 226 it was 926 926 was on a completely different wall than the wall that I was looking at okay which isn't good first of all so I'm like so what I told her was I was like okay so I went to the box right and it wouldn't turn like the, I put the key in but the key wouldn't turn right thank god she believed that and supposedly she's got a bunch of fucking mail because she can't go and check her mail regularly anymore. So thank God she went, she fucking believed that I fucking said that. So I'm like, maybe they locked your box. Because if you don't pay so long for the P.O. box, then you get it locked and you gotta pay, you gotta pay to get it back, right? And she, then she's like, well, she just paid for it like last week. I'm like, fuck. So I just keep going with the story that I had. Like, I didn't fucking, I, didn't, I put it in, it didn't work. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. You gotta talk, you gotta talk to them about that. But anyway, my mom was gonna still take her to the store to get some drinks. So I'm like, wait, well, she's gonna take you to the store in a minute anyway, so you can just check it, double check it again and make sure I'm just not a stupid guy or whatever, which I am, by the way. Um, I come home, right? I walk back in. And uh, I sit there and I'm talking to her or whatever, talking to my mom or whatever. And then my uncle comes home, which is Amber's. Wait, wait, wait! I hadn't told you that part yet. My uncle comes home, which is Amber's boyfriend or whatever. Uh, I forgot to tell you. Hold on. Let me go back a little bit. Back 
before I'd left to go get the post office, go to the post office, and my mom told Amber to go outside. She came back in and was push like wasn't pushing her, but was kind of like trying to get around her, like in her face and shit, and was like, "I'm gonna cook my man some food." Right? Now, how the hell is she gonna come in my house or in my mom's house and like, "I'm gonna make my man some food," using my mom's food? My mom's meat, my mom's vegetables, my mom's utilities, her equipment, all that shit. How the hell are you going to do that shit? What the fuck? It don't work like that. You can't do that. So, Amber's man, which technically ain't even her man. They supposedly was fucking broke up like fucking weeks ago. I don't fucking know. They're fucking difficult. But anyway, he come home. They still arguing back and forth a little bit. And he's like, okay, just tell, fill me in. Tell me what the fuck the situation is. So we tell him, right? He go outside. He talk to her. He just got off work. So this he tired as fuck, right? He worked 12 hours a day. So he tired as fuck. He come in. He's stretching and shit. He go outside. Talk to her. Come back in. Gets on the ground and starts stretching some more. He's kind of on his knees. Kind of like in like... Like a like a seashell, not seashell, like a turtle position. He's kind of like on his knees, bent over, kind of like in the fetal position, but on using his knees. And she walk in and she like, "Are we going?" And he's like, "Yeah." And she was like, "Well, come on." And he's like, "I'm coming. Hold on." And she's like, "What the fuck are you on the floor for?" I'm sitting there looking like, "Man, he, bro, he's tired. Let the dude stretch. Like, damn, like." Get the fuck off his back, like, get off this nigga, get off his dick, like, come on, he's stretching, right, so, he's stretching, he's like, give me a minute, down, and, you know, he's like, well, come on, what the fuck are you on the floor for, and all this other bullshit, and, uh, Kane, Kane is the name of the dog that was in the 22 push-up challenge video, Kane's licking him and shit, and she's just like, come on, what the fuck are you on the floor for, you dumbass, or whatever, and he's like, well, fine, fuck, fucking, just fucking give me a minute. Just go outside. And they start all arguing back and forth and shit. And he tell her ass to get outside. She don't fucking listen because he's fucking stubborn and ignorant, right? So, um, so he so they go back outside, right? And they leave. They go to wherever the fuck they said they were gonna go. I come back in here. I sit down. Get ready to stream. I was just about to stream, right? And I've been having some problems all day with the stream, okay? I'm going to show you guys what the fuck it's been telling me for the past two and a half hours, okay? That's what the fuck it is. That's what the fuck it is. That's the reason why I didn't get to stream yesterday, and that's the reason why I'm making this video instead of streaming. But I do plan to stream tonight, maybe. Maybe. I don't know if I can stream tonight. If this happens again, then I don't know. But I'm going to try and stream tonight. Um, so yeah, that's fucking great. I didn't get to stream. A bunch of shit went down. I got chased by the cops. Oh, shit. I forgot to tell you guys. Um, before they left, uh, Amber had come inside. We have a can opener, right? The can opener is like this big. It's a little campfire can opener. It's the best can opener in the fucking world, right? Fucking, there's no can opener in the fucking world that can top it, okay? Amber comes in and grabs her charger. She starts fiddling around on the counter, right? Now, she had put the can opener in some meat that she was fiddling around with. I got the can opener out the meat and put it on the counter, on the bar, right? And she come in, start fiddling around on the counter and shit and go back outside. And my mom was trying to teach her how to use that can opener on some cans because we had to open some cans, obviously. Um, she didn't like the way she was fucking get, fucking had to use it, and she was like, eh, well, "You got another can opener and a, a bunch of bullshit." So we think she stole the can opener, right? We think she stole the can opener. I know where the fuck I put the can opener. It ain't where the fuck I put it. And a part of me wants to think, why the fuck would anyone steal a can opener, right? Why the fuck would anyone want to steal a can opener like this, right? Now keep in mind that she does know that's the only can opener we have. I'm thinking, like, what the fuck would anyone want to steal a can opener? No way. But then I start thinking. There's some petty-ass folks in this world. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody stole a can opener like that. But yeah. That's how, yeah. Um, I think that's about all, guys. This is what? This is a, uh, this was a, 
It's a 19, almost 20 minute video. Jesus fucking Christ. I hope you guys stuck around for that. Pretty intense shit. But yeah, that's why I didn't get to fucking stream. Ah! Fuck! I'm really upset because of fucking, I really wanted to stream. Um, I was going to stream some Shadows of Evil, actually. Uh, with Seth and Jemaya, which I haven't done a stream or actually even done a video with someone on a game in a long time. The last thing I did was probably something with Lucario. But yeah, that's how the fuck my day went. I hope you all had a better day than mine. That's gonna be it, guys. I'm sorry I had to use the garbage camera. As I said earlier, I'm gonna be getting a new phone soon. I'm gonna be getting the LG K10. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe. If you guys want some more stories? I do have some more stories that I can tell you guys. I, can, I mean, start up a series. Story time in this bitch. You know, yeah. But, um... That's going to be it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. It's been your boy. And I'm out. Peace.